Uh, hello, uh, my name is Jeff Nunn. I'm the adjunct curator for space history here at the Museum of Flight. Uh, we are standing in our brand new exhibit, Apollo, which is actually going to open here in just a couple more days. And I'm going to give you a quick sneak, pre sneak preview of uh, what I've got behind me here. So uh, I am standing here in front of two Apollo F1 engines. Uh, to, to my left over here, uh, we have what we refer to as our before engine. This is a, a massive F1 that was originally scheduled to fly on Apollo 16, but uh, after an engine fire during testing, it was uh, it was uh, reassigned as a flight spare. And then behind me here to my, my, my left uh, is our after engine, and this is the completed display of uh, some of the components that Bezos Expeditions raised from the bottom of the Atlantic in 2013. So uh, what we're looking at here is a, a sort of reassembled, exploded view of uh, the engines as though they were in some sort of engineering diagram. Uh, on the bottom, we have a thrust chamber and uh, associated uh, LOX dome from Apollo 12. It's from the number three engine on Apollo 12, engine number 2047, uh, and you can see on on uh, the before engine, that's about the top third of the the main engine there. And then uh, up above uh, the the on the after engine is a heat exchanger and turbine manifold from Apollo 16. And that is the part that hangs kind of off the side of the, the engine. And that drove the turbines that, that ran the pumps that pumped fuel into the thrust chamber. These engines tell a magnificent story of a time in America when everybody came together, pulled together to do something magnificent, that when President Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon, wasn't actually possible because the technology didn't exist and the money didn't come forward and the, the, the United States really, literally, had just put a man up in space for 15 minutes. And he was saying that by the end of this decade, we're gonna go to the moon. And if it weren't for tens of thousands of people pulling together, to make that possible, we never would have achieved it. And to me, that's the story that these beat up, burned up uh, artifacts tell. And, and I hope that when you see them, when you bring your kids to see them, and when you have people in the community come and see them, that that's the story that they tell you, so that we can, we can pull together and we can do something more than ourselves and achieve something significant that will tell a story for generations to come. What, you know, Jeff came up with the what and the why. I want to find and recover the engines that launched men to the moon to inspire five-year-olds. And to me, that is the purest form of, of, uh, of giving, of, 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 of I, I'm, at, I'm really at a loss for words. I, Here's a man that, that could do anything he wanted with the resources that he has available. And what he really wanted to do was recreate the moment when he was five years old and he launched and he watched a man land on the moon. Um, here's the, the moon rock, you know, picked up off the surface of the moon, put into a box, taken to, to, um, to a recovery ship, taken to Houston and studied by scientists and now here that people can look at. Well, we hope in the next 50 years that's not going to be a very rare thing. Don't you think maybe your grandchildren might bring home a souvenir when they go to the moon? You can check out these engines and a whole lot more in the new exhibit, Apollo, all about America's race to the moon in the 1960s here at the Museum of Flight.